everyone, Darlene Check here, and I want to take a moment to talk to you about the Revealing Jesus Project. It's all come about after a few years ago, a real hunger in my soul, just wanting more and more of Jesus to be revealed in my life. More of His Word, more of His life, what Christ in me, the hope of glory, actually means in my everyday life. So this is where this is all sprung out of. I, I pray the songs really minister to you. I pray that the devotionals give you strength and courage for every day of your life. And I just speak God's blessing over you in Jesus' name. Amen. The inspiration for this song is all about the finished work of Jesus. And there's just a little line in John 19 which says that um, Jesus was presented wearing a crown of thorns. But actually in a couple of versions it says the victor's crown of thorns. And I loved that picture that, you know, even though Pilate and everybody else around could just see the end and that, you know, they were feeling like they had won, but the beauty of the victor's crown is that the final victory belongs to Christ. So when you're leading it, remember that. You know, lead it from that position. We, we are to stand and declare that God is greater than anything anybody may be facing. And um, that's the joy of the Victor's Crown. And again, my passion is to put those lyrics in the mouths and in the hearts of just everyday men and women like you and myself to give us courage for whatever we may be faced with. And, you know, Psalm 68 says, let God arise, his enemies be scattered. And you know, every time that we just continue to acknowledge and exalt King Jesus above everything else, it's amazing how the things of the earth just um, become so much less important and the, the lack in our lives or the troubles we are facing in the valleys, the, the darkness of the valleys we could be walking through seem to find their perspective, you know, in the light of the wonder of who our God is. In that beautiful old hymn, Turn Your Eyes Upon Jesus. Look full in His wonderful face and the things of the earth grow strangely dim in the light of His glory and grace. That's, you know, God is here, God is here, God is here, and He is able. So I really pray, you know, when you lead it as well, find some, I don't know, boldness to declare it, um, because we all need to be reminded in the urgency of the hour that we live in and the days that we live in, we need to be reminded and to understand that anointing is on us to remind others that Emmanuel, God is here. <laughs>